Hey everybody, Dr. Brian Damoff. Today I'm going to show you how to foam roll your quadriceps. The quads are actually composed of four individual muscles. We are going to take this large muscle group and break it down into five separate sections. You will foam roll each section for about 30 seconds. We will start with the middle part of your quad. We will break it into the top and bottom section to make it easier to foam roll. You will lay on the foam roller in a front plank type position. You want three points of contact, your two elbows and your opposite leg to control the amount of weight you put on the foam roller. Be sure to not mash the tissue and put all your weight on the foam roller. It may be sore when you foam roll, but it should be tolerable by you controlling your weight. Next, we will roll the inside part of the quad. The inside portion is smaller and doesn't travel up the leg as high as the middle or outside portions. As is such, you will only roll one section here. To set it up properly, you will frog leg out the leg you are going to roll and place the foam roller perpendicular to that leg. Your opposite leg will lay flat on the ground. You will use your elbows and opposite leg to control your weight on the foam roller. In this area, you have a nerve, the obturator nerve. So if you roll over that, you will feel it get really sore. Don't mistake that for the muscle and overly roll it. Lastly, we will roll the outside portion of the quad. Just like the middle portion, we will break it into two sections, the top and the bottom. To set this one up, you will lay on the foam roller in a side plank type position. From here, you will roll slightly to the front of your thigh instead of the outside to get the outside quad. Use your three points of contact to control your weight on the foam roller. It can be a little tricky to get the hang of using the front leg to assist the movement of the foam roller, but a little practice will make perfect. 